all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back-to-back -back updates and information as in the heart in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as in the heart i say shout out to all of us of freedom all over the world those in diaspora and those in Biafra land. I say I greet you. I shout out to all our fans and all our subscribers. We'll be seeing uh, another day for this channel. I say shout out to all, all of you. Now make we go down for the full detail of the information as they be. You know, Shelley, um, they say EFCC uh, and the SS don't invite Gumio. <laughs> uh, of course, you know that the Gumi be the Islamic cleric, uh, where we say he they negotiate between the government and the terrorists and then the bandit his wife and the rest of them. Uh, the other time, uh, where we say they rescue some of the kidnapped children for that area of the northern part of NIG. Uh, Nagumi and uh, the one where we say they call Shetima, where we now be the vice president of the NIG then government uh, and I then go rescue those uh, them boys. But as it be, uh, Gumi don't talk say uh say when he they go negotiate uh, with the terrorists he say the police and the government forces they follow him he say they know where the people they hide why they no go go bombard them say they supposed to forgive those children <laughs> i can't laugh but i carry you go to the full detail of the information the minister of information mohammed idris said nobody is above the law and found guilty gumi will be reprimanded The Minister of Information, Mohamed Idris, who briefed State House correspondent after the Federal Executive Council, FEC, meeting on Monday, said nobody is above the law and is found guilty. Gumi will be reprimanded. The security agencies are up and doing. Shekia Gumi or any other person is not above the law. If he suggests that, if his suggestions that are constructive enough for the security agencies to take they will take they will take but if they think that he is also making some statements that appear to be reckless he will also be reprimanded there is nobody that is above the law in this regard and i am aware he has been a guest of security agencies to answer questions when you make remarks that bother on our national security it is incumbent on the security agency to dig further, the minister stated. The minister also insisted that no ransom was paid for the release of all the 170, 137 school children abducted on March 7, 2024 from the Chukun local government area of the state by marauding bandits in Kaduna adding that the victims secured their freedom through the concerted effort of security agencies in the country. The minister said President Bola Tinubu is determined to end this cycle of payment of ransom to kidnappers. The government believes that this continues to encourage these kidnappers, these criminal elements to perpetrate this act within Nigeria. And it is official position of government as, as announced here last week that ransom will not be tolerated, ransom will not be encouraged, ransom will not be paid by the government. Governor Obasani of Kaduna State had on Sunday said Kumi was not involved in the safe return of abducted Kuringa Popios to the cleric, though the cleric had offered to negotiate with bandits for the release of the Popio. The governor had described as speculation talks in some quarters that ransom was paid, stressing that Gumi was not involved in the rescue of the populace. Gumi ran into a fresh crisis with security agencies last week when he said they have no right to declare any Nigerian ethereal financier. The cleric had reacted to a recent lease by the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, NFIU, declaring his close associate, Kaduna-based publisher, Tuko Mamu, and 14 others as zero sponsors. Hey, my people, I no, don't see I see they happen for that matter. Uh, if I look at this matter, where we say uh, it concerns this nation, 
It can't be like say uh, it gets a uh, special people will be saying I don't get this country will be saying they call Nigeria specially, and it can't be like say it gets special people will be say they can get away with anything, or maybe if you say then they are above the law. And the likes of Gumi uh, are people like that. Remember that this pain of ransom uh, to get back uh, uh, abducted children or school people students. Uh, started uh, during the Mohamed Buhari administration. You could also remember what happened in 2015 when the Chibo girls, about 82 Chibo, Chibo girls, was abducted and everybody was carrying about placard. Uh, people were shouting, bring back our girls, bring back our girls. And when the then president, uh, good luck, Ebola Chuku Jonathan, suggested inviting the Israeli army to be able to flush those criminals out, a lot of northern people protested. Even some politicians among them, the clerics and the rest of them, the protest was, uh, let them be given amnesty. After all, uh, during the time of um, Omar Musayar Adua, he did it to Niger Deltans. Forgetting that Niger Deltas were fighting for their rights because uh, about 90% of the mineral resources that is coming from this nation is coming out of Niger Delta. They have the highest dump when it comes to crude oil. And they were fighting for their rights that the government have messed up their environment. They are, there is no more agricultural produce. The environment is very bad. The crude oil has, you know, disfigured the, 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 the face of the soil. And they were demanding a percentage of the mineral resources that is coming out from their area. And if you compare it with what is happening on the northern part of Nigeria, you find out that this... People at the north are just bandits, they are just maruders. And the government started negotiation. And they thought that uh, by negotiation to bring back the Chibo girls, we'll be able to uh, settle the whole matter and the issue continue. And as it is, uh, Nigeria is a, lawless, uh, is a lawless country. Let me just put it that way. Every, in any country uh, where there is no law abiding, I think um, that country is heading to doom. Look at the dilution of the 1999, uh, the, the constitution which was diluted in 1999, allocating almost all the veto power to the executive arm of the government. <laughs> you know, shall I? Meanwhile, uh, make we go to another information as it be the certain African countries, uh, they don't they name 10 African countries with the largest military in the 2024. Uh, my own be say, uh, make you know be say, uh, you get Africans, they get the largest uh, military uh, without well equipped technology. Uh, because if you look at what is happening in Africa, uh, sometimes you will start crying. Also, I want to say congratulations to that president of Senegal, uh, which uh, took over office today, uh, a 42 years old man. This is first in the history of Africa. Uh, because what we see here in Africa is more or so 80 years, 100 years, 90 years. <laughs> Make I know God they mention them. Uh, if you call president's name for one nation, uh, you gonna say that you do. I'm not be me. Uh, meanwhile, Mega they can still carry you. They go as the hot. Uh, I think um, people should rally around uh, young leaders these days. Uh, the more we talk about uh, one joko, Epa, one joko. Uh, it looks as if um, there is another thing. But if you look at the wisdom that is uh, following Ebba Joko and look at his government prasotas, uh, the Biafra Republic government in exile, and the people who are under his office, uh, I think um, nobody will tell you that. You don't need a suicide to tell you that the Biafra Republic government in exile is, is going to achieve whatever dream uh, that um, they have come out for. I see they be for Kaduna, they don't arrest one mastermind of kidnapping or burning of Catholic Church and seminarian in Kaduna, uh, my people, uh, over that land job. Uh, but the thing will be say, be say if you day uh, make you they pray to God because a uh, man no go fit protect himself, now God, nine feet protect every man. I see they be uh, they don't arrest one man like that now for Kaduna, nine this thing one they happen. Uh, they say now the guy, nine follow mastermind the burning of Catholic Church. Will be say upon that uh, act, they also buy uh, one seminary like that. Of course, if you know Catholic, uh, the seminary and those people will be say that they anticipate to become Reverend Father uh, and then they, they call the seminary. And, and as they born, not be only say they born the church, they also abducted some people from there and the seminary 
was sent to judgment. I say, uh, may the soul of that seminary and rest in peace. Uh, this is part of the things people see in the work of the Lord because when can I make it easy? Meanwhile, now here I got to wind down the question. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you go be the first one collector. Meanwhile, I got to drop you a uh, mass Simon Eba uh, broadcast, make you see waiting that man the follow put mouth. Thank you for listening. God bless you.